Was Jesus' crucifixion foretold by the prophets? Why the prophets said so little about a suffering Messiah? An hypothesis of Dr. Galen Curra. According to the Gospel narratives, Jesus' disciples did not understand that the Messiah would have to die. Jesus said to his disciples, Let these words sink into your ears. The Son of Man is about to be delivered into the hands of men. But they did not understand this saying. Why is that? Had not the Hebrew prophets predicted that the Messiah would have to die? The Hebrew prophets had revealed a lot about the coming Messiah, and many Jews recognized that Jesus must be their promised Messiah, or Christ. Many of the people believed in him. They said, when the Christ appears, will he do more signs than this man has done? But that which the prophets had written about Messiah's death was sparse, vague, and infrequent. Here follow their seven main predictions. The Prophet Moses I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and her offspring, he shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. The Prophet King David You will not abandon my soul to Sheol, or let your Holy One see corruption. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? You lay me in the dust of death. The prophet Isaiah. He was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities, upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace. He was cut off out of the land of the living, stricken for the transgression of my people. He poured out his soul to death and was numbered with the transgressors, yet he bore the sin of many, and makes intercession for the transgressors. The prophet Zechariah. When they look on me, on him whom they have pierced, they shall mourn and weep bitterly over him, as one weeps over a firstborn. The prophet Daniel. An anointed one shall be cut off and shall have nothing. And the prophet John. Behold, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. A week before his crucifixion, Jesus began to declare to his disciples that he would soon die and rise again. From that time Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things from the elders and chief priests and scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. The Son of Man came not to be served but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Even after his resurrection, Jesus had to remind his disciples that he had in fact predicted his death and resurrection. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. He also said to them, This is what is written, The Messiah would suffer and rise from the dead the third day. Thus it was mainly Messiah Jesus himself that revealed the necessity of his death by crucifixion. Since the old Israelite kingdom had to purify its temple and people by sacrifices, so also the new messianic kingdom had to have better sacrifices that Jesus' death has provided. According to the law almost everything is purified with blood, and without the shedding of blood there is no forgiveness. Therefore it was necessary for heavenly things themselves to be purified with better sacrifices than these. The Messiah has appeared one time, at the end of the ages, for the removal of sin by the sacrifice of himself. The prophet's messages about Messiah's death were intentionally obscure because God was hiding from evil spirits the purpose of Jesus' death lest those spirits refuse to crucify him. We impart a secret and hidden wisdom of God, which God decreed before the ages for our glory. None of the rulers of this age knew this wisdom, for if they had known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. 
This is because Jesus' death not only provides forgiveness of human sins, but has dethroned the evil spirits that rule the present world. And you, who were dead in your trespasses, God made alive together with Christ, having forgiven us all our trespasses. This he set aside, nailing it to the cross. He disarmed the rulers and authorities and put them to open shame, by triumphing over them in him. The Hebrew prophets had indeed predicted the suffering and death of the Messiah, but did so in ways that kept it a secret from the ruling spirit world. When Messiah came, he explained those scriptures, fulfilled them by his death on a cross, rising victorious over sin, over death, and over every authority in heaven and on earth. Now the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ have come, for the accuser of our brothers has been thrown down, who accuses them day and night before our God. And they have conquered him by the blood of the Lamb. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations. And behold, I am with you always, to the end of the age.